Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the patch 725 release day. The patch is dropping today on Tuesday, June 13th. If you're at home waiting for servers to come up, be patient. The scheduled maintenance window has servers down until potentially 3 p.m. Pacific, so you might be waiting a while. Having said that, servers are almost always up much earlier than the maintenance windows, so there's hope. I combined Twitter with the Realm status webpage, which I'll link in the description, to find out the exact moment when servers are coming back up. Follow me on Twitter at HazelnuttyGames for that early alert tweet. Once you start to see servers with that little green light of life, here are the five things to do on patch 725 release day. One, update your add-ons. This is the first thing to do on any patch day now and until the end of time. Thankfully, it's a lot easier than it used to be. The Twitch desktop app, which is the rebranded curse client, can actually take care of your add-on updates automatically. In the client, go to settings, settings again, add-ons, and check automatically install add-on updates. If there's an add-on that you'd rather not have updating itself, you can then right-click that one in your add-on list and uncheck the auto-updating. So I load up my app, let it do its thing, and then log into the game. If any add-ons are behaving oddly or giving you errors, just temporarily disable those ones in your in-game add-on menu until an update gets rolled out. Step 2. Get comfy with your class changes. While you're waiting on servers, take a look through your classes section in the official patch 725 patch notes. I'll put a link to those in the description too. Check out what's new, and if there's a lot of change for you, maybe spend some time at a target dummy or run a dungeon to get acquainted. Getting up to speed early is both good for your performance and lets you be that guy with all the answers when your guildies log in all confused. Step 3. Go help Chromie! There's a Chromie scenario to get started with in the Violet Citadel. As you progress, there are talents to research on Chromie that take big chunks of time to complete, so you may as well get those started now. Doing the Chromie scenario can get you two new battle pets, a special transmog set, and the Time Lord title. I have a full run-through of everything to know about the Chromie scenario as a full video guide on my channel. Step 4. Check out the Dead Mines Pet Dungeon. Be the first person you know with a Mining Monkey pet. That'll make you at least 10% cooler than all those other people without Mining Monkeys. Rally your pets and head to the Dalaran Pet Shop to pick up a quest sending you to the Dead Mines. If there's no quest for you there, then make sure that you've completed the Wailing Critters quest from the Wailing Caverns Pet Dungeon first. Doing the Dead Mines Pet Dungeon has four total pets to collect. It'll take you six weeks to get all of them, so there's no time to waste. There are guides to both the Wailing Caverns and Dead Mines Pet Dungeons on my channel in case you get stuck. Finally, prepare for Tomb of Sargeras. The raid opens on June 20th in one week. Whether you're part of a cutting-edge mythic guild or more of a normal group finder pug style of raider, you can put yourself ahead by getting ready now. Sim your character with SimCraft to get updated stat weights. Start upgrading your legendaries with a new Titan Essence quest to boost them to item level 970. Polish up and update your equipment sets so that you're doing top performance in AoE, single target, and sustained cleave fights. Look up some boss guides and get familiar with the new fights. Stock up on food and flasks, both in-game and IRL. I like to keep some healthy snacks on hand for any new patch or raid release. I also like to give my bags a good patch day spring cleaning to trash those extra bits of junk that I'm not going to need. Then I come up with a couple of cute new transmog sets to wear in the new raid. It's like going back to school after summer break. You want to look good when all your guildies are checking out your new haircut. The only thing better than killing Kill Jaden will be killing Kill Jaden while looking stunningly cool, with your own mining monkey, of course. So that's what I'm doing today for the patch release. Thanks for watching! Let me know what you think, please consider subscribing for more super cool WoW videos, and have a wonderful, wonderful patch day! Bye!